Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel, and we're gonna have some fighting words. So in this video, I am, I decided that I'm going to start a series called What's Wrong With Boxing? Um, so in this video, I wanna talk about Tyson versus Holyfield, part three. Um, we've already seen one, we've already seen two, in which case, Tyson lost the second time he was disqualified, but he was disqualified after he was on the brink of, of seriously losing. Um, there was going to be no change from, from the first fight. He was losing. And what I felt he did was he found a way up out of there where he could save face and still look tough and, and savage, but not have to continue with the inevitable, which was him probably be being plastered on the, on the canvas. Um, and now here we are again with Triller, I believe the promotion is called. Uh, I, know, I do know their link with Tyson. We're gonna have Tyson Holyfield three. This is not like Ali Frazier where they had a few fights, but it was very competitive, all three fights. No, this is Tyson Holyfield three. It wasn't really competitive the first two fights. Holyfield kind of had his way with him, and he pretty much read the blueprint on Tyson and how to beat him. And then in the second fight, he was clearly implementing those those blueprint uh, plans, and he was having his way. So we're doing it again. Now I can only assume we're doing this again. Well, for two reasons: one, money. If anything, Tyson uh, versus Roy Jones taught us was how much people still want to see, you know, the old guys get it in and, well, I'm not going to say get it in, but in the ring, I'll say it like that, because I don't think there was a whole lot of getting it in that night. Um, I think it was very gentleman-like. I think it was, at least on my end, it just looked like that nobody was headhunting. Outside of a, a simple little jab, nobody was headhunting. But you got two guys in there who just—I don't know. I don't want to say. I don't want to say there wasn't any any power in those punches because clearly it was. I mean, at least the the punches to the body, like you can clearly see after the fight that Roy was still holding on to his stomach. So there were some powers punches thrown. However, I didn't see a whole lot of those punches being thrown to the head. So let's move on to this Tyson Holyfield three. Like I said, the reason why we're having this fight is because of money. It will generate a lot of dollars, um, and Holyfield is actually a heavyweight. Roy Jones was uh, a light heavyweight, well, not even that. He was like a middleweight who moved all the way up, so he's not like a normal natural heavyweight. Now we have a guy, I mean, Holyfield moved up too, but he spent a large majority of his career, his most noticeable fights were at heavyweight. So we, he's a heavyweight. Uh, I don't feel like I need to say how this is gonna go down. I mean, statistically, if somebody can beat you twice, they should be able to do it again. Um, but the reason why this is titled What's Wrong With Boxing is because if we could actually get away with this fight, I feel like there's a lot of fights that could be made, and I feel like there's a lot of fights that should be made with real contenders who are fighting for championship belts. Not their, not their pride or not their once found glory, but for championships. And I think when you get to, and you know, I'm definitely gonna give them respect, they're legends of the sport, you get two legends in there, it takes away from who's coming up. And I, I know the argument, yeah, you can have a lot of these guys in your undercard, or yeah, it is bringing people back to boxing. And, and I do believe that it's true to an extent, but I also believe that it's bringing that crowd that once saw you back. But I think it, I don't necessarily look at that crowd like a boxing crowd. I look at that crowd like a once before crowd that's coming back for the reunion because 
you guys have already done this two times already and you're coming back in your 50s and you're going to do it again so i just look at this more like a reunion fight if anything else um i think this takes a lot of eyes and attention off of young hungry prospects and it puts it on two guys that in all fairness they shouldn't be in there not at their age i mean it's definitely they're definitely not going to compete at their their highest level let's just say if, if, if if we have a level, I don't know, a scorecard of a five, they're probably going to compete at what, maybe a, a 2.5? I doubt a three. You know, so it's just, how much do you really want to see this? Um, I mean, well, looking at the pay-per-view numbers for the Tyson versus Roy Jones, I guess people do want to see it. But I don't know. I, I don't feel like this is... I don't think it's bad for boxing, but I don't think it's good for boxing because you can't really put this in the, the, the box with people who are fighting for belts and championships. You have to put this in the, the, the box that has the YouTube fighters. And although it's funny to watch, this also kind of problematic, you can see there's nothing there. there. There's no, what's the end game? Well, you're not fighting for a title. You're, you're not ranked. I mean, there's not even trophies. What literally are you fighting for? So, you know, that's just it. And then after this, I suppose there'll be, I don't know, Shannon Briggs is gonna come back. Like, and what, him and Tyson are gonna fight for the, the crown in Brooklyn? Like. What, what really are we doing this for at this point? You know, like, they didn't look that good. He didn't look that good when he fought Roy Jones. I don't think he's gonna look that good against Vander Holyfield. And I especially don't think he's gonna look that good against Vander Holyfield because Vander Holyfield is a, he's a heavyweight. He's not gonna be afraid of Mike's punches. He's just as big as Mike, so he's not gonna be afraid of Mike's punches. But, Holyfield is different than Roy Jones here as well. Psychologically speaking, Holyfield has just always been an animal. He's, he's renowned for being a warrior. He's renowned for walking through punches. You know, Tyson could slip up and hit Holyfield and I think we could have a real fight on our hands. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't see it going too well for Tyson. Yes, we've been seeing the videos with Tyson hitting the mitts and everything, and it's it's nice. It looks good. And yeah, he was in there with Roy Jones. But you gotta understand, Roy Jones was more of an offensive fighter. He was a defensive, offensive, defensive fighter. What I mean by that is, he would lunge in on you, yes. He would take off on you. But Roy Jones is not the type of person who wants to stand there and engage. He's never been that guy. He's never, well, he's never gonna be that guy. He's retired. He's not that guy. It's never his game plan. That was never his, his end all be all. He had fast legs. Why would he need to stand there and, and, and slug it out with somebody? Now, we look at Evander Holyfield. He has no problem with that. He doesn't care if you're bigger than him. He fought Riddick Bell more than once. <laughs> like, guy doesn't care and if I'm not mistaken he's bigger than Mike so Mike coming in and doing what he's done before I, I don't too much see how number one the result is going to be any different number two I, I don't know I, I guess I'm just worried that somebody could get hurt like I said I know because of the way Mike and Roy fight, fought I didn't have too much to worry about because Roy is not going to stand there and engage. But the way Evander fights, I am a little worried to be honest with you because he will hit you back. He will not run. He will engage and it's going to be a problem. Mike throws one of those, one of those hooks on, on Evander and he's definitely getting something back. Um, 
But my main focus is, I've never been one to say a fighter shouldn't make any money. Quite frankly, make as much money as you possibly can. After all, you are losing brain cells. So when you cannot fight anymore, I hope that you live as comfortably as you possibly can. But again, my only gripe is that it takes away from the young prospects. Um, I don't want to say that it's not fair or anything like that, but it's kind of, I don't want to say making a mockery of because these are two real legends of the sport. So you can't necessarily put them in the YouTube category because they are two pros who know what they are, what they are doing. But at the same time, there are two ex-pros who are not fighting for belts. They're not fighting for contendership. They're not fighting for their legacy at this point. All that stuff they've already had, they, they, they've been there, they've been up to the mountaintop. They've had the belts, they've had the fans, they, they still have the fans. They've, they've fought their way through the rankings. They did all that, they, they already did that journey. Now they're just doubling back for a few cheers, a large check, but mainly both of them have money. So I have to say it's, I miss the cheers. And I don't, I don't know how that, that does with the young prospects because I know it's gotta do something to your psyche when you're, you're looking at your attendance and you might see, I don't know, in terms of pay-per-view, you might see, let's just say, throwing out a number. Let's say you might see 100,000 people tuning in to see you fight. And then this guy comes from out of retirement, you know, from 15, 16 years, and then he has well over a million buys on pay-per-view. That's, that can't feel too good. <laughs> like, and not to say that it's wrong, but that can't feel too good at the same time, you know. So, I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I, I, I will tell you I will not be tuning in or I won't be paying for it. I will say that I will not be paying for it. Uh, I do think it will be more entertaining than Tyson versus uh, Roy Jones. I do I definitely think that uh, just because of the way Evander Holyfield fights and his mentality. He is a real warrior spirit. And I believe uh, regardless of what age, he will always have that. That's just a part of his character and who he is. Um, no retreat, no surrender, you know, so. But with that being said, as always, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.